Hey everybody, welcome to Fit Tip Tuesday. Today I want to talk about what to do if your inseam becomes too far forward. A lot of times if you're working on fitting your shorts or pants and you're scooping, your inseam can creep forward. And the reason why that happens is because when you start scooping down, you're scooping down to a more narrow part of your leg which means there's less width across the front and back pieces. And sometimes, depending on your shape, that could create a situation where the inseam is just too far forward. The good news is this is really easy to fix. So if I put my front and back next to each other like this, you can see that the back has a much deeper curve there. So if that's the situation between your front and back inseams, before you shift your inseam to the back, you can actually blend that in a little bit. I'm gonna be innovative here and I'm gonna use a piece of um, wash away stabilizer. I think this will work. So what I wanna do is I wanna show you here if your, the curves of your front and back inseam are not agreeing, the first thing you're going to want to do is even them up so when you cut off some of the back inseam, you can flip it over and tape it to the front inseam. So I'm just going to take this wash away stabilizer and I'm just going to stick it on here because what I can do then is where it's not matching, okay, I can mark the middle of the difference, so like right here. All right, and then I'm gonna continue up to my back crotch like this. You know, I'm gonna fill that in a little bit, okay. And then where I filled it in, I'll trim it off in the front. So my back inseam will have a little bit more fabric. And then if I take my, my tracing wheel here and I just, I'm just gonna mark along where I added. Okay. Then I can see that, and basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to trim off that little bit. So we added some and we got rid of other. So like if I color in what I added here, just so you can see, it was just a little bit, just to fill it in a little bit. But you can see now if I put my front inseam on top of my back inseam, you can see those shapes. And if I just cut off the extra of this um, clear stuff so you can see. All right, so notice now, I trimmed off a little in the front. I added it to the back. And now my curves are almost identical. I didn't change the measurement, I just made the shapes the same. So that's the first step in moving your inseam backwards. Now keep in mind, depending on the shape of your pattern, you may have to actually do this in reverse. It may be that you need to fill in the front inseam a little bit and dig out the back. It really just depends. So if you just put them on top of each other and check out the shape, okay, and then give a little to the side that's curvy, take away from the side that's straight to create an equal curved shape, then you're gonna be ready to um, cut off some of the back and put it on the front. All right, so now that I've gotten that, my inseams to agree, I'm just going to tape them together Okay, so I'm just going to tape my, my inseams together so they match.
So the first thing you want to do here is um, decide how much you want to push your inseam to the back. And typically, from working with my students, that ranges anywhere from a half an inch to an inch. So the first step is you're going to work with your back leg pattern piece and you're going to measure an inch or a half an inch, whatever it is, from the tip of the crotch along your um, back crotch curve. So that would be the amount that I want to shift forward. All right, so that's how much we're going to shift at the top of the inseam. Now the next thing you want to do is look at yourself in the mirror and really, you know, examine what that inseam is doing. Sometimes you only need to shift it up at the top, but sometimes the inseam is forward all the way down to the hem. So the first thing you want to do is decide if you want to shift the entire inseam towards the back or if you'd like to just shift the top portion or maybe to the knee um, to the back. So I'm going to, for this example, I'm going to say that I want to shift the entire seam from the crotch down to the hem backwards by a half an inch. Okay, so if that's the case, I'm going to draw guidelines going all the way down my inseam on the back leg to the hem okay at that half an inch okay so there's our guideline the next step is we're going to cut it off so I'm going to cut off that section and then what I'm going to do is I'm literally going to flip it over and I'm going to tape it to my front. Okay, so basically I'm going to butt the cut edge up against the inseam edge and I'm going to tape it on. When you're doing this, if your inseams are a similar shape, meaning they have the same curved edge, you're going to be able to flip the part you cut off over and just tape it on with really not much fidgeting around. Because if your inseams are the same shape, it's mirror image and you can just flip it over. Okay, so, all right, so here's what it looks like now. Okay, so you can see what we've done here is we've extended the front, okay? Now what I wanna do is I wanna tape this back together and I wanna see if the shape of our crotch is still gonna agree. Okay, so you can see here, I lined them up. Okay, and you can see that you know, if I just line them up and pin it, I want to be able to pick it up and show you. So basically, I'm just going to line up the cut edges of the front, and I'm going to line up the back cut edges, and let's check the shape of that inseam. Okay, so you can see, if I turn it this way or I turn it this way, the shapes are exactly the same. Okay, so the only thing we did was move our inseam. It was here, and we moved it this way a half an inch. Okay, so that's, that's how you shift your inseam to the back if it's too far forward. Um, if you have any questions or comments about this adjustment, please let me know and I will help you. Um, if you're following along with our um, Shorts for Everybody Sew Along, last Friday I showed how to draft a custom waistband using the strip of fabric that you added to your muslin um, and then to close the darts to create a curved, you know, a curved waistband in the back. Then I showed how to sew the front pockets and the front fly zipper 
last week. It was an action-packed uh, episode. This Friday, we're going to tackle those button vents. Okay, because there's a really cute button vent detail on the shorts for everybody, and I want to show how to do that. I'm also going to show you my favorite way to sew back waist darts. So if you're following me along in the short sew along, I will see you on Friday at 1 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. And I hope you have a lovely rest of your day, and thank you for watching.